Made in Hollywood. An actor performs a role on camera or on the stage. Hey, what's up? I'm RJ Kyler. And it's your girl, Becky G. And you are now watching Made in Hollywood. Here is an exclusive scene from our Power Rangers movie. Power Rangers were a legion of warriors. You must become those warriors. It's just a hologram, like a video game. <laughs> That's a strong oh, hologram. Not a video game. <laughs> when I was about like, I don't know, like five years old when the 90s series started, I legitimately thought that if I believed and I thought hard enough, like I could be a Power Ranger. I actually thought that it was possible to morph and I just wasn't harnessing the power yeah. like enough yet. And that's why I hadn't already morphed because I just didn't like click into the, I, the power I remember of that it. feeling when you're a kid where you believe something and you're like, I reckon if I like tense hard enough or if I do, like I, I can... I and can that's what we want the kids to believe, I think. That's yeah. what we want to make the characters relatable to the kids these days and modernize them so they can see themselves in their shoes. And you might not be able to morph, but you can get together with your friends and be real and then do something cool together. We're talking to a wall. I was kind of expecting a little more. So for you guys, obviously like we've all had that moment, but for you guys, you actually got to become Power Rangers because yeah. you did this movie. So, I mean, did you guys totally just geek out? Definitely. I think the coolest thing about it is like, wow, life really does come full circle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I, as a kid, you really think, you know, if I think hard enough, will I morph? And then we actually had gotten to experience like, we're not thinking hard enough. Why are we morphing? Yeah, you like, know what I mean? Come on, guys. Come on, come guys. On. It's happening. We filmed so much of the movie not being in our suits, you know what I mean? Because we had to work for them in the story. And so when we actually get to wear our suit, it's truly like an honoring feeling. Like I worked hard and deserve to wear this armor. Okay, that's cool. Let's go. And also like during the morphing scenes, right? I feel like Dean wouldn't be satisfied with the, the shot until he felt like we actually worked and stressed for it, right? In that yep. shot. Because he would be like, you know, we're going to do it one more time. Right? And then one more time. Everything was perfect. I just want another version. And that's like it, you, you know? know? And we know like what he's saying. The it's, hundredth time we've done this. Yeah, it's today. like the hundredth time. We like on take 68 and he's just like, one more! Like you said one more at 22. We got it. We're going to be here for a while. All right, guys. Five little rangers. A lot of actors have to continually learn, right? So yeah. they don't just do a movie and then afterwards be like, okay, well now I know everything. Do you oh, guys God. still feel like you have to go to acting classes after you do a movie like Power Rangers? I don't think it's necessarily defined by acting classes. Like I went and I did three years in university, a drama school, but that's not necessarily for everyone. And okay. also I think you have to be susceptible to the world and like meeting people and experiencing things and not being afraid to just open yourself up. I think a lot of actors need to be like that. Yeah. And then there are a lot of actors who have a completely different approach to the world. But I also think that you never stop learning in any respect, in any industry, any, yeah. in any aspect in of anything. your life until you die. She is pure evil. How do you expect us to stop her? What advice do you have for any young aspiring actors or actresses? Well, my advice is persistence. That's really important, um, you know, because you're gonna hear no a lot, and you're gonna be rejected, and you're gonna feel like you don't belong. And it's persistence, like stick with it. Once you get to that one yes, it, it feels great, and you feel uh, grateful at the end of the day, and you don't take the opportunities for granted. And there's still a lot of hard work after that, for sure. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop because just because we did a Power Rangers movie doesn't mean you know we don't know what's you're gonna happen now. next. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are Power Rangers. Okay, we yeah. still get bills that we gotta you pay. Still have to go to that audition. Yeah, yes. just like everybody exactly. else, we still go. So you can't sit around waiting for somebody to hand it out to you. You gotta go and make some calls and hit the pavement and do it for yourself. This is your destiny. And I also think that sometimes in this day and age, like the, the younger generation are like, oh, I want to be a celebrity or I want to, and, you, and that's not an occupation, you know, that's not, it's like, what do you want to do that's creative, you know, what is it that you really want to do as opposed to just being, oh, I just want to be famous. This is your time.